Good morning everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday and this week I want to show you guys how to use the writing feature with your Cricut. I have seen a lot of people lately um, really confused based on not understanding that you need a writing style font. So I am going to show you today how we can um, figure out which one's our writing style and how to do the whole process. Okay, so I went and I picked a tag. I'm just gonna do a quick little um, thank you tag. So if I right click on this image here and go down to image info, it tells me um, I can go right here and view the cartridge it's on. And um, it is on a child's year cartridge. So I'm just gonna cancel out of this and go back to my main screen. Now this is just a simple tag and that's really what I wanted, but I don't need that bird there. So what I'm going to do quickly is go down to our contour feature, which is right over here in the bottom right. Um, if you've never watched my videos before, I do um, this little circle here so you can find my mouse and follow along easily. So I'm going to click the contour feature. I'm going to go right over here and click on this bird and now it's gone. Um, that's a great feature to use um, for a lot of things, especially pre-made images if you don't want all pieces. So I'm going to go up here and change the um, color of my tag to white. Now I'm going to type out some text. Now I'm going to show you guys how we can do three separate colors on the same tag. So I'm going to um, line this up a little bit here. I'm going to say thank you. And I'm going to put today's date, which is 5719. And I'm going to go up here to my align feature. I'm going to center that. And I'm going to make this a little smaller, make sure it's going to fit on my tag, which this will be changed um, once we change the style of the font. Now I'm going to go up here to advanced and I'm going to click ungroup to lines and it's going to give me a separate text box. It's going to break it all up easily so I don't have to ungroup every single letter and then reattach. So now what I'm going to do is we'll start with think. I'm going to go up here to where my fonts are. Now if you notice along um, each one here, underneath the font it says single layer cutting and then it says writing. So that will let you know it's a writing font. Now I'm going to show you a few ways to do this so that um, I see some confusion. So I'm going to show you um, a few ways that this can be done. So I know that um, I'm gonna type in the font baby steps because I know it's a font, I use it a lot and I like it and it's a writing style one. So I'm gonna click it and it's going to change my font here. Now you can see I still have the bubble letters what I need to do, go over here to style and go down to writing, and that's going to change it to a single layer font for a single line font for me. Now, if I go to this font, this text box here, it brought me back to Cricut Sans. Now, baby steps uh, is already in here because I looked it up, but what I can do is here is go to filter, go down to writing style and it's going to automatically filter by writing style. Now, if I go down to baby steps and I use the same font, um, it's already going to be the single layer for me because I uh, indicated already that I wanted a writing style font. So that makes it much easier. Now when I go again, it's my presets are already saved as writing style and I can just go down, pick baby steps and we're good. Now what I wanna do here is select it all and I'm going to go up to the align button here and I'm going to center horizontally and I'm going to actually make this a little bit smaller. We don't need it quite that big. Um, and then I can just highlight them all and again, align and center horizontally. I can place it on my tag, size it how I want it. And now I wanna do three different colors for this tag. So if you notice on your Cricut pens, it will tell you on the side the names of them. So I have gemstone blue, navy, and light turquoise. On the bottom, this might be a little harder for you guys to see, you can see that it says F, and it lets me know it's a fine point. Uh, it also says .4 tip on the side, but this lets you know too that it's fine point. So what I'm going to do 
is more of an ombre effect. So I click on my first text box and I'm going to go up where it says uh, where we changed the color. And this has been filtered um, already automatically to the fine point pens. If you click this, it will do extra fine gel, glitter gel, uh, marker, calligraphy. You can indicate which style pen you have. And then we'll go down and I will select the gemstone blue. Whoops. I'll select the gemstone blue first. Um, I'm not sure, it doesn't look like they're alphabetical, but they are um, sorted by color, so like blues and greens. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to next do the um, light turquoise, I think it was. So I'm going to indicate light turquoise. Now you don't have to do the exact one, but I like this, especially because I like to use a lot of different color pens at the same time. Um, so I like doing this because um, I'll show you, it will indicate to you which pen to put in next. So then um, I picked the navy one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is highlight all of these. You could have also gone to up here, uh, this says deselect, but it will say select all. And we're going to go over to the bottom here in our layers panel and attach. And I'm going to select make it. And you can see over here, it indicates that we're going to draw and then cut. So you know everything's right and everything's all together. Continue. I'm going to pick my machine. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my light, um, my gemstone blue pen ready because that was the first one I used. So that should be the first one. But it's going to let us know. Um, while I wait for this to load, I'm going to let you know that Cricut recommends that you store your pens upright but face down, um, tip down. So like this. Um, I do that and I never have an issue with my pens and they last well, they last a really long time. Um, so I'm going to select light cardstock as my setting and you can see here it says load tools and mat and it's telling me to put the gemstone blue pen in and the my blade. So I'm going to just push this down a little bit so that you can see but we can go back to it in a second. So I have my gemstone blue. Um, you're going to see this arrow here. You're going to line that up with the front, open your A clamp. You're going to carefully push this carriage up a little bit and you're going to wait until you hear it click. You know it's in and you close it. I'm going to take my mat, I'm going to load it and I'm going to press the cut button once it highlights. And I'm going to, you'll see, um, sometimes the writing feature can take a little bit longer to um, go through the process. Um, I have really fast internet, so it usually doesn't take me too, too long. But um, because you are doing every single part of it is a single stroke. So it is a lot different than cutting or print and cut or anything like that. So it can take a little bit of time. So that's not concerning if it is taking you a little bit longer than you had hoped for. Okay, so that's already done. Now it's telling me tool change required and it says load navy in clamp A, which is why I like to label them because it lets me know which pin to use. And Because I would have put um, my light turquoise in because that was the second color I had indicated. So it's doing it a little bit differently. Um, but I like to do this because this way it lets me know and I know that um, it's going to be the right stuff. So that's why I like to make sure I label them exactly and I use the pen names. Um, now it's telling me here, tool change required, load light turquoise tip. So um, I'll go ahead and do that. Whoops. And I like to, if you notice, put the caps of my markers on the top while they're cutting. That way I don't lose them because I'm prone to do that or my kids will grab them. Okay, so now it's done writing. It's um, going to go ahead. I have the maker so it detects that I have the correct blade in. It's going to cut it out real quickly and then we can remove our pen and I'll show you how easy it is to have our completed gift tag. Okay, for those of you who don't work with paper a lot, I use this, I do this I flip my mat and pull my material from my mat. I usually do it with vinyl and everything too. I just find that it works better, okay? And now you can see we have a gift tag, writing style, all done. Um, and one thing that I will mention too before I let you guys go is that if you're doing, if I had to do um, 
15 of these tags. It's going to cut each color. Uh, I mean, it's going to draw each color on all of the tags um, before it has you change the, t the pen. It's not going to do one, um, all three colors on one tag and then go to the next tag. So that makes it easier too. All right. I hope this helps you guys. Have a great day.